Hello there, welcome back to Ireland. Last time, well, we did a, uh, I guess you call it a second renewal of our navy. And, well, it worked out pretty great. We're almost done. We simply have to build a couple more ships than we are, than we are basically set. We also went and vassalized Madurai. And I guess we will be using them more or less as uh, our harbor in India. And that will give me an extra merchant. And then we can start causing the trouble for... Uh, for Spain and Portugal in the Caribbean, and that should be kind of interesting as well. Simply a little bit of testing of the uh, of the trade mechanics and how forwarding works, but it should be interesting nonetheless. We don't really have that much else we can do. We have to wait for the uh, the French is here to uh, to lose their aggressive expansion, and we'll probably have to do the same with Hindustan. So it'll take a little while before we can actually start causing trouble for Great Britain. But uh, it shouldn't really be something that we have to worry about. They're still, they don't actually have any allies right now, and they're at war with Spain uh, in the Spanish purge of British heresy. Kind of interesting. Probably uh, the Spanish going off some colonies. And that is good for me. So uh, I can't complain, and we'll just go straight to uh, continuing the upgrades to the fleet and also preparing for, well, the future more or less. We'll see how it turns out, and hopefully I can get myself into a position where I'm not this much over the naval force limits. So, uh, we'll see how that plan works out. Finally, <clears throat> excuse me, finally the moment that we have been waiting for here, my King Francis left the military coalition against us. They finally understand that we pose no threat. Um, I'm also pretty sure that the remaining member of the coalition, Hindustan, they'll definitely leave as soon as the five year mark has passed, I think. They are hostile towards us, but I'm pretty sure they'll still leave. Or at least I hope they will leave. I can't actually remember when they joined, but for now we simply have to have to wait here. I don't have enough men over here to be able to fight and to start efficiently. Could of course be uh, kinda useful to be able to attack them, but as of now I can't. So what we'll do instead of course is start fabricating claims here to uh well able to get, go off the Great Britain once the time comes and it's kind of a risky move because as you can see if we get that then well France is back Norway's back the world hates me and we're back on that track so hopefully <coughs> we can avoid being spotted but uh, once again I can't make any promises so uh, we'll see how that works out as you can see I'm building some new docks and the like because well I'm over my naval force limits again but uh, it should be able to uh, to deal with this. As you can see, I could build these, but they cost a uh, a fortune, 400. Then I think it's actually probably not better while I'm at it. I might actually just go ahead and build naval bases all along the uh, the coast here. But it will of course take time. But it should be it should be fine. I'm making what 70 ducats a month now, so uh, I'll be making the money in uh, rather shortly. I can start the annexation of uh, of Madurai. I believe in uh, 1712 so I should get an extra merchant pretty soon as you can also see I do have a lot of administrative power but right now I don't actually have anything to uh, to drain it into I need 1020 power and have 935 available so uh, once the uh, year changes I guess we'll be able to take the next level of admin tech and as you can see colonies are finishing up and I guess I'll have to set up a new one but uh, we're almost closing in here. Kind of annoying here that the Spaniards have decided to start colonizing up here. But I guess I'll simply let them have it. There's no worth in taking those provinces that can't colonize inland. And uh, well, can't say that I care too much about them. We are we're basically just focusing on Europe right now. So no real reason for me to uh, to do anything else. So uh, I'll continue making uh, Madura like me so I can annex them as soon as the time comes. Same with uh, same with Cornwall here. And we'll be fabricating claims on the British provinces that we want to take. And we'll also go ahead here, take uh, take the improved production, level 25 admin tech. Production efficiency increased by 10%. Good, doesn't really help me that much because, well, as you can see, my production uh, income is uh, less than 5% of my monthly income. That is true. Less, less, <laughs> less than 5%. And <laughs> the tariffs and... Almost the vassals are making me uh, more force, so that's kind of hilarious, but nothing we can do about that. Uh, next level, we'll probably have to wait a little bit, so as you can see we're ahead of time. Um, I'm kind of wondering if I should actually go for the trade ideas next time, simply to uh, to give myself three more merchants, and then see how much money I can actually make if I do build a lot of these uh, 
these naval bases and set up a, uh, a system with more or less uh, complete control over, well, most of the new world. We'll, uh, we'll see if I can pull that off and uh, if I actually end up making any money. But uh, for now, we'll just continue away, try and get him to start out the coalition, and once they're out, we'll declare war on Britain. So, uh, the war is coming. Hopefully very soon. As I promised, Hindustan has left the military coalition against us, which means it's time for war against the British. And it should be a very fast one. As you can see, they don't actually have any allies as far as I know. So, simply taking, well, the Span Spaniards and working their colonies. So, I'll just go ahead and siege siege cease uh, the mainland here and that should be uh, that should be it I think I'm also pretty sure that our fleet will uh, beat theirs without any problems at all the only problem right now is that I don't actually have anyone to declare war for me which is kind of awkward but uh, we'll just get these guys back home and war will be declared we'll go for take Vesex I think should be very f very easy as you can see they'd only call upon the coalition members Great Britain themselves so I can't say that it should be uh, a problem at all. We'll just send both troops to, uh, to be completely sure that we'll destroy their armies here and that's virtually it. War's over as far as I'm concerned. All that remains now is to get the sieges done and once we have them uh, once we have them set we should be uh, should be fine. So uh, once again not really interesting but we are missing only the five provinces here so it's not really that much of a fuss. We destroyed the uh, British Navy. Very small one as it were but uh, also having colonies com being completed all across the board so uh, I believe this one is both of them are done are done which is not good but as I said here I'm pretty sure that I can leave the Spanish to uh, to deal with with the British uh, colonies so we'll just go ahead siege uh, siege these four and probably just take one or two provinces we'll uh, we'll have to consider it but probably one or two depending on the aggressive expansion that will be gained. We'll also have to deal with uh, with Norway soon and Orkney. So uh, I guess I'll fabricate a claim up here fairly soon as well. And that should, uh, that should help out fairly well. We can also apparently invest in military tech, Montalogy, which uh, gives me artillery 5 plus 2, artillery shock by 0 0.1. And that's it, should help out a little bit. Next level is once again new infantry. White coat, blue coat, red coat, and Fredericken should uh, should basically put us on the driving seat if t Europe wants to come after us. Shouldn't actually be uh, anything for us to worry about. But for now, we'll be focusing on trying to get the mag power to get to two deckers, so I can build a 20-30 ship fleet to simply um, make sure that I have complete dominance of the sea. But I basically have, have that already, so I might just go ahead and build 20-30 extra heavy frigates and place them... Uh, and place them basically around here but for now build more of these so I can actually ca catch up to my uh, catch up to my naval force limits I need about uh, 20 more of those which is 8,000 ducats but as you can see we're making a lot of money so shouldn't be that much of a problem although trade has gone down which is kind of weird but uh, should be fine Madurai 200 good then we'll start the annexation in three years time. But for now, I'll stop chit-chatting and just finish the war with Great Britain. I've decided to just go the easy way and just take Vesex. Um, and also have them, of course, give up calls, take money. Because as you can see, I will get, with the French, uh, 28 if I just take one province. If I take two, however, I'll get 65. Which is basically just doubling. But even so, it would mean that I will have to live peacefully for a while. Which is not really what I want. And I want to keep Norway out of the collision for the time being. So what I might actually just do is take one and let's see, uh, if I have four then I'll be about 20. I'll almost be able to burn it in five years time. So taking one province is probably for the best, um, although I'd like to take more, but uh, we'll have to see. I think I might actually go for, no I'll just take one this time and then we'll simply do that. So there'll be a lot of small wars, but hopefully I can keep people out of the uh, collisions by doing things this way, but uh, who knows. Why not go as planned? But for now, we'll be selling, of course, the province to... Uh, economy actually sell province to SX to Cornwall to have them core it. And I'll probably have to call Essex myself, but... But that should be just fine. I'll probably take both Essex and Kent in the next war, though. And live with a uh, coalition for a time or a while against me. But for now, I guess we'll fabricate claims on both the... Uh, 
The only ally with Russia and Poland and Denmark now, so I can use my, my navies as basically a, a shield here. I can also offer them vassalization apparently. Heck, let's do that. That's that sounds like a peaceful solution. So we'll go for vassalization of uh, of the of the Norwegians. Um, why why the heck not? We'll go for peaceful vassalization since we uh, since we can. Of course, it will cost me one diplomatic uh, relation, but I think we can uh, we can sacrifice that without uh, without while well, having too much fuss. They do have a little bit of aggressive expansion, but that's about it. So it shouldn't take that much uh, that much time to actually get the relations up to two hundred. So that I can go ahead and uh, and peacefully vassalize them, and also with that I could potentially go for wars against the Swedes, to basically make Norway about the size they are, and that will also give me quite quite a good well uh, control over the North Sea. But I guess we'll just leave it as it is. So uh, plan to vassalize Norway and uh, wait five years to declare war on Britain again. We'll see how that works out. Sorry for this cut, but apparently my recording software decided to not record the last 10 minutes I played, and as a result, my clip ended up only being 11 minutes long. So, uh, a lot of things that I said was missed out, so hopefully I'll just try and get them now. We got the Diplomatic Tech 25, which basically gives me uh, an extra 25% increase to the uh, naval maintenance, but it also gives an improvement of 0.5 to the naval morale, quite good. And I now have the three decker, of course. That is uh, that is great. Other than that, I did a little bit talking about how I'm uh, looking towards the end game here. Ottomans are doing pretty well for themselves, as you can see. They have basically claims to everything. And considering the fact that this war here could potentially give them a border with each other, uh, it would be very hilarious if the end game boss or end game big war actually ends up being Ottomans versus Austria slash Holy Roman Empire. That would be uh, that would be hilarious to watch, to be honest. So I'm kind of hoping for it. But I also said that if uh, we're basically set here, all that I need to do now is take these two. Then Great Britain will move their capital, and then we'll basically just be set. That one war at London, and we are we are virtually done. On the other hand, here we have Norway. As you can see here, we are friendly. We are basically just 30 points now away from the uh, the magic mark of vassalization. My apologies. Uh, magic mark of vassalization. Once they've been vassalized, we'll simply annex them. As for now, it shouldn't be an issue. We'll also be starting the annexation of Madurai pretty soon. We are, what, September? Seven months? No, August, September. Eight months away. Yeah. Uh, nine? Yeah, nine months away. Um, my apologies. I'm a little bit confused right now. But uh, 897 does matter. We're very close to starting the annexation of them. And then we'll get that extra merchant, and that will be interesting to see, because as you can see here, in the Caribbean we do have 593 power, and we are currently using that to transport 12.65 forward. Uh, apparently we're using it, or sending it to Seville, because we, doesn't we do not actually have a merchant here. So, I guess we will be uh, we'll be sending out up to Chesapeake Bay once we get a merchant, and that will amplify a lot here, we'll get a lot more money. And since it's collecting, you'll not be sending it uh, further, I think. And that will give us a lot more money. If uh, that was the case, we'll probably redirect it to uh, to London. We could, of course, try that. I believe that's the way to make more money. So what I can potentially do then is use this Panama. Oh no, that's no no real reason to actually use this guy to send anything forward. He should just collect, due to the fact that it's actually uh, actually better to do that simply because of the fact that well, we do have uh, we do have money here that can be collected. I could potentially use the Mexico guy to send it. No, it's not really a reason to send it forward. It also ends up in the Caribbean. Also here, it also ends up there. Basically, it all ends up where I want it to. So, what I'm actually saying, once we get that uh, forward merchant, we'll have him send forward it to Chesapeake Bay, and that will give me a lot more money, because I'll be basically grabbing the Caribbean node for myself. And that should help out pretty well. Also, not really that much else to say, but I'm pretty sure that we have all more or less finished this, uh, this uh, challenge, because all that remains now is to take these two provinces, have these guys move the capital, take the capital, and then uh, annex Norway once they're vassalized. So next time we'll probably get uh, the annexation of Madurai done. And we'll probably also start causing some trouble with, uh, with Great Britain again. Probably just try and snatch one on one province to try and keep France and everyone out of the collisions for as long as possible. It should be interesting to see. 
But uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise criticism, anything you feel like. And I hope I'll see you around next time. Bye.